Wow, 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 what's up guys, Godfather here playing Minecraft and welcome back to my long SMP journey. I am here in Electric's subway station waiting for a train. No, I'm not waiting for anything. I am going to show you what I've done off camera. And over here it's a little bit of a lag fest. And I am kind of thinking of reverting back to 1.8 pre-release, th this server, because the frames are just better. And I think Minecraft did that. Anyway, I have done a lot of work. So, the quartz roof, I, I have changed it up to make it even more peaked. And now it's uh, two quartz blocks uh, instead of one. I kind of want to zoom in, but there's no Optifine yet for 1.8. But yeah, it looks much better, but it uh, requires more quartz, so that's gonna get expensive, and I am gonna run out of quartz. Although I have still some uh, in the shop, but still, ooh, it's gonna be ex expensive for all four of them. I've started the, the second tower as well. Anyway, so what I have done here is I have started a race um, type of situation here. I'm building a race <laughs> course, um, and I'm thinking of calling it Race for the Diamond or something, because the winner gets the other person's diamond. So two players uh, jump on the pad and start off the game and get a speed here. Ooh, that glowstone didn't work. <laughs> and boom, boom, boom. Uh, this guy can even make one more jump here and continue. Oh, I, that, that worked pretty nice. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna work on that this episode, uh, but I don't know, I kind of like it. Um, there's a lot of different mechanics and a lot of fiddling to do on the jump and the... Uh, the things you do if you fall, is there gonna be like any checkpoints? I'm not sure, um, but I like it. I think it's gonna be neat and kind of original. I, 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 haven't, I, I, I haven't seen anything like this, so it might be really nice. Um, also, I have some uh, stuff in here and the frames uh, to make the potions for the speed everything you need, even more. Uh, so that, that's speed 2 po potions you get, because those are the shortest. I'm even thinking of some ways that make uh, the potions shorter. I saw Ito uh, make potion splash, not directly, but through like two blocks, and that makes it shorter. I'm not sure. Um, I'll, I'll fiddle with it, uh, and I'll check back when I get some more work done. It's gonna be fun. Man oh man, is there a lot of uh, torches here. Electric really lit this place up. <laughs> a lot of torches. Anyway, let me show you what I've done on the speedy parkour that I'm gonna call Race to the Diamond. Um, I, I think. Uh, work in progress. I put up these ladders on the side so anytime you fail a jump you will be able to get back on and continue but yeah it's you're gonna lose time to your competitor um, yeah these are pretty easy like maybe I should make them harder because I make them every time that's because I'm the master of parkour yeah <laughs> anyway let's talk about the slime blocks um, so I have these uh, on the front and the back and they don't work because if they did you would probably hit the slime block every time. Um, the way it does work 100% of the time, well not 100% because uh, the pings is a factor. <laughs> Look at that thing. Um, you you hit them most, most of like 4 out of 5 times you, you will get it. Even more than that. So let me try. Ooh. There we go. You jump on the side, you catch the side of the pressure plate and the side of the slime block. And you do it. It's pretty easy. Oh, I thought I made it. Um, so what else? Oh yeah, the speed potions. Hmm. These speed potions are acting weirdly, because uh, it says 107 and like a minute, seven seconds. 
I actually like that it's not working because a minute and a seven second is too long. It, you would have speed for the rest of the course. And I don't want that. So look at this. I get speed for 15 seconds, maybe 16. And that's perfect because you get here, you do the jump and you're out of... Oh, I missed. See, it's harder with the speed and that's kind of good. It's weird though, it doesn't run out. Hmm. I have I have to fiddle around with it. But yeah, it's 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 good that it's not a full minute. Or maybe it's just a graphical glitch. Let's do it again. Hmm. This is pretty weird. Like if I don't check it, I'll have it for longer. Boom. No now it said eleven seconds, you saw it? You saw it? Okay, let's let's see how long I have it for. It's not gonna run out if I don't check it. I totally missed the jump. Never mind. Oh, it did run out. So it's not a visual glitch. It does last a uh, shorter <laughs> short amount of time. Anyway, I don't know why I'll figure that out. I'm doing some redstone here, which is weird for me. Um, but it's really simple though. Um, and it's going good. Anyway, I'm really excited about this game. It's gonna be awesome. Um, it's like death games in in the sense it's competitive and you get or you win or lose a diamond, but uh, it's it's got no violence and no. Uh, Hello. I heard an endermite. Yeah, there's an endermite. Anyway, uh, there's no. Uh, oh, there he is up there. Let's kill him. Uh, there's no chance of dying and getting the death counter even higher up, which a lot of people wouldn't like. There you are. Get wrecked. Um, what else? Oh yeah, about the pre-release rolling back. I don't think that's going to be a possibility um, because MC Pro Hosting only has... Um, that's our server. Uh, only has the official release, uh, so that's 1.7, 1 1.8, no, uh, nothing in between, like the snap shots and stuff. So yeah, we'll worry about that. It's, the lag is not too bad. Like right now, I'm getting 26 frames. I would usually be getting more, but it's, uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, anyway, yeah, that's that's the progress in the game. Let's check out some other stuff on the server. There's some new stuff in the nether. Alright, so there is a new shop in town, or in hell, in the nether. It's a wool shop. And I really f like the look of it with the polished diorite and the stained, white stained glass. It's a nice combination, I like it. And yeah, this is where you can buy wool. Um, one diamond per stack. Awesome. Uh, whenever you need a lot of wool, it's it, it can be grindy. So this is pretty neat. They even have a jeb sheep here. Um, yeah, I'm hoping uh, they they get business because this uh, this looks nice. I think it's from Georgia and dark, and it's uh, gonna be called the Bay or Bay Wool Shop, something, I don't know. They don't have a sign yet, so I don't know. Anyway, that's that's the new shop. Let's go to mm, the basement of my third castle and check out the new bunnies I just got. Let's see if uh, I get lag going through the portal while recording. Yeah, I'm, I'm underneath the portal. See the node blocks? Woo! They're under there. Um, so, the bunnies. I got some different bunnies. They're not sandstone bunnies anymore, like these. They are different. They are brown. Brownish. Let's see if I can breed them again. Boom. Boom. Oh, these guys are escaping every time. Oh, don't die. Who, who died? Oh, someone here died. One of the sandstone bunnies. Well, these can't be breeded, bred, bred again. Good thing is I have a lot of these, so even if they die, like I kill them anyway <laughs> for rabbit feet and stuff. They, 
This guy dropped meat, so I'll take that. It wasn't a baby, I think. Babies don't drop anything. These, these guys do. So yeah, it's kind of vicious murdering rabbits, but what can you do? Anyway, I have a new villager as well. So let me go to the new house I built and I will we'll check him out. And five seconds later, here we are. I didn't really need to do a cut, but I don't know. Uh, so the new house is right here and I placed him right here and he is a librarian. You know, 28 paper for emerald standard. He's giving fortune though. That's kind of cool. You can get fortune free with a lot of emeralds. Um, I'm not sure anyone's gonna be doing that though. Written books, clocks, glass, a lot of good stuff and infinity book. That's pretty useful like for the death games and whenever someone loses a bow their infinity bow. I also put some uh, more grass around this area and I think it does look better with more. I don't like to bone meal, spam bone meal around. Oh, hello rain. Um, but sometimes maybe it does look better than just having occasional grass here and there. A lot of shrubbery is good. Embrace it. I like it. Anyway, uh, I'll head back to build some more on the the race the race course cuz yeah it needs to be built <laughs> so i'll head back there ah damn lighting still a problem fix your game microsoft fix your game bill gates <laughs> um so last update time i have done some uh, roof work on the remaining towers i only have one more left and i'm out of quartz and out of patience to build roofs if you ever built a roof in minecraft you know how annoying that is but yeah i'm uh, i'm almost done i need to figure out the walls that are gonna connect these towers but let's uh let's take a look at the game the functionality of the game is more important at this point so um let's let's actually go through it i guess should i i don't want to waste speed potions I think uh, the dispensers are still filled. Okay, uh, let's be careful. Here, oh, don't press it. Ah, damn it. And I fell. <laughs> In addition. Oh my god. I'm the worst today. Okay, I didn't press the thing again. And the speed is already out. Anyway, uh, so the reason I have these, th these uh, platforms above is... So it hits, the, the potion hits the platform and it gives me the effect. It's pretty neat and um, easy. The reason I have this little pit is if while having speed potions you fall off, you can still go back up. If you fall off there, you have to come to the middle. If you fall off there, you have to go back. And over here... Um, if you, if you fall off here, you can't just go through to the next ladders. That's why it's blocked off there. Um, but if you fall off in this point, you have these ladders. And yeah, so on. Like little checkpoints. I think it's pretty neat. Where's my stake? Um, I haven't worked on this too much. I, I, I'm thinking of having a big jump here. Boop. And then <laughs> dropping down. No, dropping on top of something. Over here, did I show this? I don't think I've shown this. Did I? Anyway, yeah, little checkpoints. I, I may have shown this. Uh, for each stage, if you po fall off during the parkour. Um, but we shouldn't fall. It's pretty easy. Um, it's, it's more of a race against the uh, other person. What hurt me there? Lag? Um, anyway, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, give me your opinions on the game, if you like it or not, or if you have any ideas for it. Um, I'm really excited about this. This is going to be an awesome race game. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.